T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine start, zero, and lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. See clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. Rattling down to 76 percent. This is the mission of Mars Rover Curiosity. Travel time to the planet Mars, eight and a half months. Survival temperatures ranging from minus 135 to almost 1,500 degrees Celsius. Deliver samples to the internal analytical instruments via its robotic arm. Determine whether conditions ever existed favorable to life on the Red Planet. We asked Siegfried Ruswurm and Doug McQuiston, NASA Director of the Mars Exploration Program, which role Siemens played in this Mars mission. Well, we provided indeed the toolbox for designing, testing, and ultimately manufacturing of uh, this robot. That's how the Siemens software helped us, not only to manage uh, those drawings and procedures, but also to help design the system. So it was very useful to be able to test the parts and test the interfaces with them before we actually had to assemble the system. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is the lead United States Center for Robotic Exploration of the Solar System. They developed the Curiosity rover with PLM software from Siemens aimed at meeting the more aggressive schedules and leaner budgets it had started to experience. NASA is challenged like all other players in industry with the same uh, paradigms. They need to be faster, they should be more productive, i.e. cheaper, and that's what our tools are helping in. Our virtual testing was really used to do things where you would not have a physical prototype doing that. All components have to fit together, operate properly, and withstand whatever harsh environments the mission requires. We have to wait until the beginning of August to see the final results of all efforts and to get an answer to the question. How hard is it to land Curiosity on Mars? On a scale from 1 to 10, landing on Mars is a 20. Curiosity is the biggest, most capable Mars rover yet and needs a new type of landing to reach the ground safely. In this seven minute trip to the surface of Mars, we have to slow down from over 13,000 miles an hour down to zero. Hundreds of things have to go just right. Curiosity must hit the atmosphere at just the right angle, endure extreme heat from friction as it descends through the atmosphere, open its parachute at just the right time, use radar to know exactly how high it is, free itself from the parachute, perfectly fire eight rocket engines to slow final descent, drop down dangling on four cables, lock its wheels into place just before landing, and cut the cables right at the moment of touchdown. And even if we do everything right, Mars can always surprise us. It's a big challenge, but a big opportunity. We cross our fingers that the last few weeks and the last few minutes of the landing will work out well. <laughs>